Booga, 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 booga. Yeah, that sound that you just heard is what a lot of people claim to hear when they stay at the Haunted Boulder Dang Hotel. Seriously, this hotel is one of the oldest hotels in all of Nevada, and it's famous for being haunted. <laughs> People who visit the hotel claim that you can feel hands grabbing your shoulders. I personally saw an entire glass fly off of this table. But could this little boy be lying? Uh, and everybody else too. Well, this guy is gonna find out. Me and my sister Kimberly are gonna try to survive an entire night inside the haunted Boulder Dang Hotel. Why do you keep calling it that? Older, we can't say that. We can't say that word. As I was walking up to the hotel, I thought, you know, this is a nice looking place. I ain't scared one bit. I ain't gonna lie, the inside, a little creepy. A little creepy. Cozy, how are you feeling? Yeah, cozy. Please tell me you saw that guy too. So Kimberly and I, we walked down the hallway searching for our room. That happens to me sometimes. <laughs> I gotta get a haircut. I'm slaying. We were in room 219, which, yeah, that's known to be one of the most haunted rooms in the Boulder Dang Hotel. Why is it all by itself like this? We come in peace, ghosts. Where's the light switch? Where's the light switch? Where's the, where's the, where's the light switch? Where's the... That didn't do anything. Look at this is a little freaky. Look, looks like toes on this dresser. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a toe. <laughs> I hear little kids. Do you hear that? I hope that's just actual kids from outside and not ghosts that died a hundred years ago. Are they saying things like dope and slay and crank that soldier boy tell him? Or are they saying in a fortnight <laughs> you would meet at the ball? Hmm, not the best example, Kimberly. In terms of the older dag nabbit hotel, somebody says room 209 and 219 always gave me the creeps. I always felt like someone was in the room with me and I was being watched. There were ghosts all over the boulder dang it hotel. Items that move about on their own, cold spots, doors that open and close on their own. Whispered voices are heard at times when no one else is present. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. If you're brave enough to venture down into the basement, it's now home to a speakeasy. That sounds fun. I think it's haunted. Oh, <laughs> we gotta wait for it to be dark. I mean, I mean, honestly, we gotta wait till like midnight or 1 a.m. I don't like this and I think maybe we should have just made try not to laugh challenge in my room. Alas, it was dark, which apparently is when the ghosts come out. It's time to summon the ghosts and see if this place is actually haunted for real. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Or to see if the mysteries of the Boulder Dag Nabbit Hotel are just a myth. Let's find out. This yeah. is creepy lighting. This is not good. I, I have goosebumps everywhere, even in places I didn't know goosebumps were. One. Oh, my land. My land, I tell you what, I do not like this one bit. This is scary. I don't like this much, Lee. So, um. Reacting to Spy Ninja videos, maybe, instead? We have to do this, we've come so far. Oh, everybody's doing it. I know what you guys are thinking. Daniel, you're going into the haunted boulder. Ah, fish sticks, hotel. And you're so afraid, you don't have any balls. I, I got balls right here, and these are used to detect ghosts. I know it sounds silly, but they light up. What you do is, these are very sensitive. The slightest movements can make it move. So once it stays still, if it starts moving, I'll tell you what that means, that means it's a ghost. It's a ghost, I tell you. It's one of those uh, ghouls, I tell you. It's one that's a supernatural, I tell you. It's, it's a- I hope there's nobody in a room nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna place the other one by the door over there. I tell you. Maybe we can turn it on a little bit. A light? Yeah. Why? That's scary. <laughs> oh. You better hurry. Talking to the ghost? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm turning that light on because I'm too I'm too freaked out a little bit. What? You're freaking me out. <laughs> Is that right? I'm sorry, guys. I when I get scared, I get weirder. It's my way of coping. I'm gonna turn this on. First, you gotta extend the antenna like that. Uh, I think you extended it too far. 
This literally will allow us to communicate with ghosts. This is a spirit box. It's meant to scan for radio frequencies called EVPs, which means electric voice phenomenon. That sounds scary. Yeah, and I've seen videos of people doing this. They'll, they'll ask them a question and you'll hear voices or spirits. If you could give us a little bit of information. Don't sleep oh here. <laughs> voices. I'm saying things in a funny way to make it not that scary. Okay, I've watched so many videos of this and I can't believe we're gonna do it. Maybe it won't turn on. The ghost has a beautiful voice. Oh my gosh, it's on. It's static right now. Okay, so. Unlike other electronic devices, a spirit box won't malfunction during a hunt, but it will reveal your location to a ghost. What's a hunt? What the heck is this? I hate this, I hate this. Oh, I have a list of questions that are good to ask. Are there any ghosts in the room with us? Do you want to hurt us? Um. Do you like your chicken baked or fried? <laughs> Do you want us to leave? Never have I ever stuck my thumb on my butt. <laughs> Bruh. Can we help you? Is the person watching this video right now subscribed? Guys, subscribe right now. Or else, if ghosts exist, I think they're gonna rub my chinny chin chin in the middle say... of the night. I'm gonna scan to a new channel. Can you give us a sign if you're here? <gasps> oh my god, Daniel, you know, no, he's stopping, you did that. I didn't do that! Did you do that? Did you not do that? Okay, I might have accidentally <laughs> slipped my finger. I heard squealing. That was a breath. Did you hear that breath? Breathing. I'm crying. I'm literally crying. My eyes are watering. I think we're picking up aliens. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, crap. That's the beat. Okay, ghost. Get it. Get it. Okay, here's the deal. We're going to keep this over here. We did some investigation earlier today about why this hotel is haunted. Everybody was telling us it has to do with the Hoover. Dang, Dang it. it. You know what we're trying to say. So me and Kimberly, we visited there and uh, we found out the truth. Wow, this is crazy. People fell off the wall and died. So this is why the Boulder Dang Hotel is haunted, huh? I don't wanna know what that green stuff is. Ectoplasm. I think Shrek's here. <laughs> <laughs> He's making a mess. <laughs> so 96 people died at the Hoover Dang. Hold that thought. To all the spirits who have died creating this darn, visit me tonight. And Kimberly, we want to meet up with you because that really sucks that you uh, fell off the ding dang darn. Yeah, ghosts don't have to be scary. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be dead one day too, but for now, let's introduce each other so it's not awkward when I get to heaven. I wish I didn't say any of that and I'm scared. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that because then we went to the hotel lobby and that's when some wacky stuff started to happen. I have this electromagnetic radiation tester. I'm kind of afraid. I hate this, Kimberly. I know it's your birthday tomorrow, but this is not worth it for me. I hope I make it to 27. I hope a ghost doesn't kill me overnight. Hey, Editor Daniel here. I'm just editing the footage and did anybody else notice this weird line in the footage when I'm talking? What the heck? Oh my God, I got goosebumps right now. I have edited probably over a thousand videos before. I have never seen a weird glitch in the footage like that. I wanna say it's a reflection of the fire, but you can see it even when you can't see the fire. Like, what, what, what is that? What is that? Oh my God. Anyway. Wait till what happens next. So this thing turns red if it uh, detects like, I guess like electromagnetic energy. You ever used one of these before? I haven't, but I've watched many videos where they do. Oh my God. Stop it. Are you serious? It did it. Did you just do that? No. no. Oh my God. Get away, get it away. <laughs> Why is it when we go by there? Look it, it's a, it's like, it's photos of them. Daniel, it's every time I put it over there. It's so weird. And there's a holiday in across the street. I didn't think anything was gonna happen. You told me nothing was gonna happen. You sent text messages to me saying nothing's gonna happen, Daniel. Don't cancel the video. <laughs> All clear. All clear.
Daniel, is it not colder right here? How do I feel? Ow! Oh, we shocked each other. That's Did you guys hear that? Something weird's happening. Wait, is it not colder right here, though? Yeah, that was enough beep, beep, beep for me. So I said, let's just go back in our room. <gasps> That's what cats do when they want to assert their dominance. They hiss. <laughs> uh, I think it's working. Oh, wow. Daniel, we're, then we're not going to be taken seriously as ghost hunters if you do this. You don't want to haunt me, ghost. I'm insane. I think you're already possessed. The only way I can cope is if I just act like a real nutcase. You're good at that. Maybe you can tell me a story that'll make me feel better about this place. Once upon a time. You put that down. <laughs> That's scary. Once upon a time, there was a little tiny boy named Danilio, and he went to a hotel called the Boulder Dixie D'Amelio. <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> Anything to censor that horrible, <laughs> horrible word. And he went there to the hotel and he said, I'm so scared. I think it's so haunted. I feel like I get a ghost. But, <laughs> what a baby. <laughs> but then he went and he saw that it wasn't so bad. There was a lot of culture, a lot of history behind it, a lot of hard work that went into building the place. Wait a minute. How big was this guy's nasal? It was... <laughs> It was 726 feet tall. You talking about me? As long as the damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> the diggity dang. Why is your hair standing up like that? Stop, what? Seriously, it's standing up strange. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's, look, I'll flip the screen around, look. Oh my God, I made it. That's weird. What is it is doing? That... It's actually like, <gasps> guys, replay that back. It moved. My eyes are actually watering. Look, oh my gosh, the goose pimples are out on display. Oh, oh my gosh, my eyes are, like, you moved a little bit and the hair had like a mind of its own. Play that back. I'm actually crying. It was touching my- Wait, wait, stay right there, stay right there. Do you see that, guys? Is it still happening? Look, she's crying, her tears. <laughs> Was there a ghost touching my hair? I didn't feel anything, but how would it move like that on its own? Stay still. Is there anything next Something to me? Something weird is happening like on the top of you. Yeah. <laughs> Just oh! <kidding>. oh. <laughs> I see it. Why is your hair standing up like that? Stop, what? Seriously, <laughs> but wait, up wait, wait, watch wait, it move. Wait, really? Yeah. It moves. It moves! <laughs> Did you see that? It goes like... <sighs> what would cause that? That is so weird with something like holding my hair. <laughs> I like want to Google like what would cause that. Let's Google it. I don't think the Wi-Fi is working. Got it. <laughs> <gasps> Have you had? I heard a crack. And it wasn't mine because mine. <laughs> Dude, it again. it's happening. Check my crack real quick. <laughs> I'm trying to be serious. Honestly. Is it coming from inside the fridge? Good idea, we should put it in the fridge. It was almost too weird that every like five minutes something weird would happen. I knew I should have listened to everybody who told me not to do this. You know, I made a video similar to this with Regina and Daniela on their channel. We went to the Stanley Hotel and I didn't happen to like experience any ghost activity. Neither, neither did Regina, but Daniela did. She said in the middle of the night, somebody was playing with her necklace the entire night and then she felt somebody sitting on her feet. Things happen when you sleep apparently. Ugh. I knew sleeping in this room could be really scary and rough. So I decided that I needed to do something to boost our spirits. Well, not like ghost spirits. Yeah, uh, yeah, um. Close your eyes. Okay. Regina did this when I was spending the night. Hey, close your eyes. Okay, Stop open your eyes. eyes. <laughs> Before we sleep, we gotta switch into something nice. Hands out, cold eyes closed. You get to choose one of your choosing. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's so funny? This whole video, we've been so scared, and it's so dark, and it's so gloomy, so I figured we should wear really colorful, happy, good times. Oh my god, it's curvy. Yeah. Stitch. Oh my god, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper! Oh, it's Frog and Toad. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Wait a second. Hold on. Do you know what I brought to sleep in? 
<laughs> really? Yeah. Whoa. That's so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we can match. Girl, ain't no way in heck am I switching into a Barbie. I can't believe this happened. We're Barbie girls in a Boulder dang world. All right, well, it's time to go to sleep. This was gonna be the scariest part of the whole day. How was I gonna sleep in a haunted hotel? You play my case, I'll apply yours. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> what? It's just that we're like siblings and we basically have like the same toothbrush. <laughs> I don't know. It's just Hilarious. <laughs> All right, I'll sleep on this end. I kind of want to sleep with the TV on. <laughs> we can't sleep with the TV on. Really? I need pitch black and I need my eight hour loop of white noise ASMR. Are you serious? It sounds fire crackling. I need to sleep with my rain sounds, yeah. Look. But the TV's fine. How are we gonna sleep with the bright light shining on our faces? Look at those happy people cooking food. You need to face your fears. <laughs> no. Are you really, you wanna sleep with the yeah. TV Yeah! There's no way. What, what? You sleep with the TV on? In a haunted hotel, yes. Let's ask the bear. Should we sleep with the TV on? No, Kimberly and Daniel, you simply can't do it. You won't sleep good like that. Ah. Okay, you hurt his feelings. I'm hurt sorry, Mr. Feelings. Bear. Sorry. Daniel. I can't believe you want to be in a haunted hotel. The Hoover, dang, nab it. Shoot. You do I can't. that every single time. You, you mess it up, you say, shoot. <laughs> I can't believe you want to spend a night at the Dover Dome. <laughs> I can't believe you want to spend an entire night. I can't believe you want to spend a, uh, your night here. <laughs> I can't believe you want to spend an entire. I can't believe you want to spend a night here. I can't believe you want to spend a night at the Dover Dang. Oh my god. I can't believe you want to spend a night at the Dome. <laughs> what is this place called? I can't believe you want to spend a night at the Dover. <laughs> it's like the buttery flaky crust. <laughs> yeah. Bake on the buttery flaky crust. You can't believe I want to spend the night at the Boulder Dam Hotel. You can't say that word. That's the that's what's messing me up. I can't believe you want to spend a night at the Boulder Dang It Hotel with that's haunted with the lights off. Nah, you just take three. <laughs> Good night, Daniel. Good night, ghost. Don't even say that. <laughs> I'm going back down here. Good night. Good night. Oh! I think Kimberly's awake. Kimberly? I'm awake. Okay, okay, don't tell me if anything happened in the middle of the night, don't tell me yet. Let me, let me just get a good angle. Okay, I wanna get on camera. If anything happened in the middle of the night, you can tell me now. Okay, go for it. Okay, so in the middle of the night, nothing happened, I just slept. I didn't get bothered by ghosts. Yeah, same. So is this place not haunted after all? Or they just didn't feel like haunting us. Well, I'm gonna go uh, to the bathroom real quick. Uh, wow, I can't believe that we survived the night with no hauntings. Actually, here, you hold the camera. I don't want them to see me. Wow, I can't believe we did it, guys. I really kind of started- Oh! Oh, oh my god, wait. Kimberly! Wait. Oh, Kimberly? What? Did you put that in the bathroom? No, I was in bed all night. What? What? Please tell me you put it in the bathroom. What's in the bathroom? What? Uh, there's there's something in the bathroom. I'm gonna look. Oh my gosh. What's in the bathroom? Wow. Oh wow. I, what the heck is that? I don't know. It says happy birthday, Kimberly. I did not. Did you do that? No, why would I wish myself a happy birthday? That'd be sad. <laughs> you did this. What? Yes. No. You did it. No. Yes, you did. No. I, I, you had to have. Okay, whatever, yeah. Happy birthday, Kimberly. We did, we did it. We survived the whole night in the boulder. Ding, dang it, dang. Nabadarn, tooting all crap. Hotel. Oh, this is a pretty cool hotel. I loved it here. I love this hotel. What do you say we get on out of here and celebrate your B-Day? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Before I spent the night here, I was just a little tiny boy. I was so scared. I thought it was haunted. But then it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of culture, a lot of history behind it. A lot of hard work that went into building this place. Damn, that was fun. <laughs>